This morning in the kitchen, we welcome Chef Tyler. He's from Events by d and It's a great place. Uh, they're actually, you guys work out of Hope in Maine, right? Yes, yes. We're a small, uh, full, uh, a fully inclusive catering service. Uh, we operate out mm -hmm. of Hope in Maine and Warren. Uh, and we're very excited to be here today. Well, we're happy but, to have you. What are you, you so making? Um, today we have a pan's uh, roasted ribeye uh, mm -hmm. with a root, uh, root vegetable puree um, and a wild mushroom sauce uh, that's going to have some nice brandy in there. And it's going to be delicious. Sounds good. Okay, great. so take us through the ingredients. Okay. What, in terms of root vegetables, too, that could kind of mean a little of anything. Yeah, we're actually going to use three today. We have um, Yukon gold potatoes, mm -hmm. parsnip, and celery root. So it's not your traditional mash. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, huh. not your run of the mill. Um, we okay. also have some nice uh, Rhode Island mushroom company mushrooms. Um, they're Pio, Pio Pino are the nice little small guys, and some shiitake that we've sliced. Um, we have some cubed butter, mm -hmm. um, minced garlic, and shallot. Um, some whole cloves of garlic, which we'll use later in the show. Uh, salt and pepper, obviously. Um, our Brussels sprouts, thyme. Um, we have some shaved parm, uh, nice olive oil, vegetable oil, um, and some thyme that we've just pulled off uh, of the stem off as well. Off of the stems, yep. excellent. And the star of the show. And I can't forget the ribeye, yeah, the star of the show. Um, that ribeye looks beautiful. It doesn't look like too much marbling going on in there either. Right, well, if you can, if you look closely, you can see some of the nice uh, smaller uh, bits of fat that run through it are mm -hmm. the really nice pieces that will break down when you cook it. So that's a oh, good okay. tip for people at home. Um, you want to look for those really, really nice uh, small pockets of fat that run through. All um, throughout. Yeah, that's, yep. Well, yeah, you want that nice and tender, Exactly, right? yep, yep. It sounds like a delicious recipe, and again, Great. welcome for the first time. We're Thank happy so to much. have We're you guys here. here. We're going to get cooking in just a bit. Tyler right. is here in the Roadshow Kitchen, events by D&M. we got a pan-roasted ribeye, root veggies on the on the menu. You're getting ready to put this all together. It's game time. We're getting ready to drop this beautiful steak right here. So you got um, a great cast iron pan. Yep, yep. cast iron key, uh, is a key to success for a great steak at home for mm -hmm. everybody who's watching. Um, you want to get your pan over medium-high heat, and just you see, see that oil start to shimmer, which it should do in just a moment. Yeah, it and doesn't take very long. It doesn't take very long. Yeah, it's nice and hot. So we're going to get that going, then we're going to drop the steak, and we're going to give it a nice sear for about three minutes on each side. Veggie, vegetable oil to put in there? Yeah, a little bit of vegetable oil. We don't want to use olive oil because uh, the vegetable oil has a higher smoke point, right. which means, as you can see, it's going to start to smoke up. Sure. Um, so we want to um, have a nice flavor, and we don't want anything to burn. Because you want, when you put that ribeye in, you want that sizzle, you want to seal it so all of the juice, so it doesn't exactly. dry out and all the juices are in there. You got it. Exactly right. Okay, so it looks like we're almost about there. That looks good. All that right. Good. Okay, here we go. Already put a little salt and pepper yep, on there. Nice salt and pepper. Can you hear that sizzle? Yeah, that sizzle. That's yep, what you want. That's what you want. That nice sizzle. Yep. That looks good. Now Great. you don't want to you don't want to overcook it. A lot of people in the summertime they'll go outside. They will put it on a grill. But yep. really, this is the best way to cook it. Exactly. Yeah, I prefer uh, the cast iron. Um, it's you know you can do it inside your home. Right. And the key, which we'll show you guys, um, is when I flip it, we're going to do some basting with some butter and some uh, whole sprigs of thyme and garlic, which really uh, seals in that flavor and just adds another layer layer of flavor as well. Right. And also helps it from 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 drying out as well. Exactly. Right? Yep. Yeah. yeah a luckily, lot of great we're using flavor. yeah we're using a, a terrific cut ribeye is actually a, a higher fat. Uh, has a higher fat content than say a fillet, which is very very lean. Right. Um, so and you can you can see it. I mean, all the great marbling in there, oh, yeah. all of the, yep. the great fat content that's oh, yeah. that's in there. Yep. And you also don't want to overcook it. So a piece of meat like this, the size of this is how long we how long are we letting this go? Um, like I said, this is about a this is about a one pound steak. Uh, it's a it's a bone in, so right. you're gonna want to be a little bit more uh, cautious with the bone because okay. it's gonna be a little bit more rare as you as you get to the bone. So I estimate anywhere from three to five minutes per side right. for Sounds a medium good. rare. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's gonna right, be great. So we will let this go and we'll uh, put the rest of it together. Also talk about the uh, the events uh, by DNM as well. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Tyler is here. Events by D and M is the place. Pan roasted ribeye, root veggie, vegetable mm -hmm. puree is what we're putting together. It smells so good. You're working like a crazy man. Hey, it's You're just uh, it's business as usual for us <laughs> here. He's had some help. You are yeah. busy. Yeah, yeah, he my, has had any help. And my partner Mike is, uh, is hanging out in the shadows over there. So yeah, it's business as usual for us. We do this all the time. We're a full service catering company, so we're here to bring the steakhouse experience into your home with this mm -hmm. uh, with this uh, dish right here. Beautiful. So what I'm doing right now is finishing our sauce. Um, it's a wild mushroom uh, brandied cream sauce uh, with some fresh thyme. Um, and over here, we're bringing up our uh, root vegetable puree, that looks um, delicious. which is delicious. It's so a, um, 
It's Yukon gold potatoes, mm -hmm. celery root, and parsnip. And so what, did you, what did you just squirt um, I just there? gave it just a little shot of chicken stock just to kind of um, loosen yep. it up just a little bit for those at home. Um, if you might make your mashed potatoes or your puree just a little bit too stiff, as we like to call it. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of water, cream, uh, butter, or stock, or all of those would work just uh, just fine. Excellent. Um, so what I'm doing is just kind of working that in yeah, and bringing it up. Yeah, because puree, you want it to be nice and that smooth. Awesome. Exactly. Yeah, you want it you know, enough that you can be able to spread it and it's not going to be too, you know, mm -hmm. uh, too clawing on your on your palate. Now, if anyone caught going into commercial break, you guys had some fire going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. We had a nice little action shot going on. Uh, my control, partner. Controlled fire. Yeah. Controlled control fire. fire. It's always control chaos. So we had our brandy flambéing, which mm -hmm. is a nice fancy uh, French term. So uh, Mike sweat our mushrooms down uh, along with the garlic and shallots. And we like to call it, we deglaze the pan with the brandy. It gets those brown bits off the bottom, so you get that nice flavor in your whatever and you're cooking. And that's everything you want. That's the real good. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, less dishes. I you know at the end of the day too. So yeah. So we're. we're just about time to um, to mount it with butter, monte okay. beurre, and that's another French term that we're going to do. Um, so what we're doing is bringing the sauce down in volume, and we're going to add some nice butter to make it glossy and uh, have that nice mm -hmm. umptious uh, mouthfeel, if you will. Sounds good. Yeah, umptious. nice fancy. I'm using all the fancy you words are. today. Yeah. Umptious yeah. Is <laughs> You're a little too classy for us. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay, so at the same time, see, this is just about what we want it to be. It's mm -hmm. nice and warm, and then you guys are actually going to see the whole thing come together momentarily. Good, beautiful. All right. Okay, so the sauce. Like I said, it's almost what we want it to be. Mm -hmm. But as chefs, we always want to taste. We want to make sure that it's what we want. What we want it. So that's right. And never put the same spoon back in the dish. Right. <laughs> so we have a little sanitizing mm -hmm. station right there. Mike did an excellent job with the sauce. Give it up for Tastes Mike. Tastes fantastic. What a boy. Amazing. Here to go, Mike. Oh my nice God. Job. Nice job. It was all the fire. He deserves a round of applause. He puts up with me, folks. <laughs> Okay. Now this is something that you guys do. I mean, this you're obviously showing people how to make this at home. Yes. But yep. If we don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, we'd be more than happy to come into your house and do it for you. That's mm -hmm. that's what we do. Um, we're a full service catering company. We offer right. every avenue that you can think of. If you don't want to have to deal with calling your flower, uh, you know, your flower shop, mm -hmm. we'll right. take care of that for you. Wow. Um, you need a bottom. DJ. We actually have uh, an arsenal of them. Um, so, so whatever you need, we can do, do that for you. Do DJ and cook? Oh, actually, we do. <laughs> we, yeah, Mike and I actually met in a nightclub setting, and we're both DJs as well. So we have uh, a number of them awesome. that we can call. It's it's kind of a funny story, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So. Everything is just about to happen right now. So okay. what I'm about to do is um, I've let the steak rest, which mm -hmm. is extremely important. Um, mm -hmm. So you have all those juices uh, redispersing back to the center of the meat. So when you cut it, it doesn't bleed all over your cutting board, and right. you get that nice flavor in yeah. your mouth. It looks great. Thank you so much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this you, to the okay, cutting board. So you're going to put that up? All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll move Sorry. out of your way here. Thank you very much. So I'm switching knives here. My nice slicing that knife. Is, that is awesome. Thank you. That's quite a knife. Thank you very much. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to... Carefully take it off of the bone. Uh -huh. And as you're slicing up Whoa. that ribeye, I, I keep going, go through it, but tell yep. us about what it is that you, you guys can cater, because you mentioned the yep. different events that you're able to yeah, do. Yeah, well, we're a full service catering company, so we've done uh, a wide variety of events. We've done weddings, uh, showers, mm -hmm. um, christenings, right. um, you name it, and we can do it. So um, we invite you to, uh, to find us on Facebook, uh, Events by d and um, yes. and Maybe uh, we can talk about catering a party for you sometime. Yeah, yeah right. we'd really well, love that. The nice yeah. thing about having somebody like you guys come out, you guys take care of everything. Exactly, You guys You're take right. care of everything. That way, whoever is yep. having the party or whatever event mm -hmm. it is, they can actually enjoy themselves. And mm -hmm. you get the great food, and maybe they'll spin some songs. Spin, yeah. some, <laughs> spin some tunes. <laughs> while yep. you're at it. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm plating. I'm going to grab my little spatula, and we're going to just that do a little, good. Good. a little smear. Good Nothing stuff. too crazy. Beautiful. Excuse me, I'm just going to leave right. it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice our meat. And what you want to do is you always want to slice across the grain, um, okay. not with it. So if you can see the grain's kind of running, I want to go like this right. as so opposed to say like that. Why 